Hello, welcome to Juniper Tutorial. Today, I would like to show you how to revise Bootstrap pre-built navigation on Dreamweaver. Here, you will see the final product. Link can be an uh, external, can be just a page, can be a, a just link to an image, or a file, or just page itself is called anchor link. So let's take a look code here. So you will see the navigation usually is made of a on all the list and then the list for the each link. So here the external link have HTTP absolute URL and then the rest is just a relative link. All the file image or page all reside inside your web folder. Okay, so the first one is at page link and the, the third one is image link. The fourth is PDF. Fifth one, you see there's a pound sign in the front and then there's a because I have a, a div ID set up called here. And this only use when your web page is very long. Uh, I'll show you where is my ID. So here, here is my ID, div ID here. So if I click on the anchor link, the browser will show me this area. I'm going to uh, do the preview. When I click on the anchor link, it will go to my anchor here. I also have a back to top set up here. It's also an anchor link. You just have to set up just anchor top, uh, href, and then hashtag top. Okay, let's get started. Now go to File New on Bootstrap, include preview layout and create. I'm gonna save as I'm gonna save as demo override is okay. There's a two set of a menu here, and then we need to de delete one. And also we don't need search form here. So the best way to start it is use your DOM panel. So if you don't find your DOM panel, just go to Window DOM here. It pops out the same way. Okay, expand your body tag and on the nav, expand, expand. And here, this is two div here. You can see on the class is a nav bar header and nav bar D4, nav bar one. So this is the div that we need to look at it. So expand again and see this is the menu on the left, menu on the right. And there's a form here. So first of all, we don't need form. We can delete it first. And then we have to decide which one they want to keep. So maybe we just delete the second one. Use the first one. And then now it opens up again. So right now you see there's a drop down list here. This is a sub level of the on all the list. So if you're gonna use this in the future, just be aware, only change here action that area. Okay, so we don't need that. We're going to delete it. Also, the active class, so we don't need that. Delete that too. In this point, because we have a five links, so we're just going to duplicate four times. So that's it. You can select the first one. And to change the link verbiage, probably the best way is from your code view. But I find this way is the easier way. I'm just going to change this one to, like for instance, I'm going to link to Yahoo and then just say Yahoo. Find your property panel. If you cannot find a property panel, just go to Window, Property, here, Link to Yahoo. The best way to do an external link is just open out your browser and on your URL box here and just right click copy. This way is ensure everything will be exact. So the target, because it's external, we want this pops up a different tab. On the drop down menu, you can do blank or you can do new. So I'm just going to do blank and then page link. Type in page. So while this cursor is still inside and then you see the property panel is have to refresh. Point to file is no longer functional because I show you if I open my file panel and I want to point to link, file panel disappears. So it's just useless. Just use a browse to file, the little folder icon and find the page. <coughs> now the third one is image link and then just image link and refresh and do the same thing and then just find the image JPEG to link to. And then here you can just do the target 
to blank again. And also the PDF. And refresh and just find PDF. It's same same procedure. And we want to target to blank too. So here we're gonna set up an anchor link. I'm gonna type anchor link. Set up an ID called show me. And then you can just set up somewhere refresh with your ID here. Show me. And that's it. The ID will show me. So make sure to be exactly the same. So I have a space here. So I'm not gonna have a space. Show me. Okay. And then in this point you should save all. Hit F12. Now you have it. See you next time.